that we believe without understanding. The brother asked a very important question that most of the scholars say that listening to music, watching movies, and most of the television programs, they're haram. So how can we have fun? Let me tell you, brother, at the outset that having fun is permitted in Islam as long as the fun is halal fun. <laughs> that the standard narrative has holes. The prophet tells us because Satan or the devil sleeps over our nostrils. Those who oversleep and not pray Fajr on time, Satan urinates in their ears. I really do think Jesus was crucified and that he really was dead and buried. He, he thought that he was a son of God in the sense that he was specially chosen by God. I think Jesus really did think he was going to be the Messiah, the future king of Israel. I mean, that is, after all, why they crucified him. Hello everyone and peace of Christ all of you. I hope my voice came in good and clear. Please invite your friends and if you are a Muslim, invite your four wives. Uh, today we have some questions the Muslims asking and as usual, Muslims are like immature with their questions, showing us that they are ignorant not only about their own faith, but for sure they are the same as their prophet who they themselves, they say he was illiterate. So what you expect of illiterate people? Before I start, I see someone, he called himself Jason, but I think he is a Muslim. He says, how come uh, the book, uh, Catholic book, they have 73 books in their Bible? Where is the 73 books by uh, Catholic uh, Bible? <laughs> this is ad additional proof that a human being is a donkey. It doesn't matter if you look like one. You idiot. You know, if you do a little search, you will find that there's books of traditions added to the, the Bible is a book of books. It's not a book. So we can put one book at the time, and still we call it Bible. Like as an example, the book of John, this is a Bible for me, the book of Luke, etc. So, but there's books, is books of traditions, which means the church father. So those are not necessarily to be added. So it just put them under one cover or put them in the shelf says those are independent books. So you are ignorant, you do not know what are you talking about. <clears throat> And even if those books, all of them are not exist. We don't follow books, we follow Jesus. The Lord, he says, the heaven and the earth will be destroyed, but my word will not. So ignorant people, they speak from their mouth, but their mouth is not running from their brain. They have a mouth, they copy paste. And today is an example of copy paste people. A Muslim is asking a question. Let us show you the question. So this is a Muslim, his name is uh, Rasad Noor, Rasad Noor. Would we encourage all Muslims to ask questions? That's very good. He said, "Where we, where we Muslims or the Christians himself insulted Jesus Christ? Why did you, Muslims you insult Jesus every day? First of all, you are the one who downgrade Jesus from being God to be a nobody, according to you." Even the work of Jesus has gone for nothing. According to you, Muslims, you keep saying that Jesus came for nothing and his book is corrupted. What is a big insult more than this? Imagine you say to me that my books, and I wrote many, they are corrupted. They are, you know, so that's mean everything I wrote is was gone for with the wind. And it's very funny that I can reserve my books with Amazon, but you, God cannot reserve his book. And if we ask the Muslim, who is the one who sent the Injil? They say that Allah. So the book of Allah is corrupted. So Muslims, they insult their God. They insult Jesus. Even their prophet, he claimed that he is going to have sex with the mother of Jesus. And yet they claim that there are people who respect Jesus very much. My friend, imagine I say to you, I respect you to the point I want going to sleep with your mom. That's a lot of respect. But here you see the question coming saying, <clears throat> why they did say we have killed the Messiah, Jesus Christ, the son of Mary. And which God Mary worshipped before Jesus Christ was born? And this is the title of our video. First of all, the, the verse you mentioned in the Quran is showing that Muhammad is an idiot. Because <laughs> until now, the Jews, they don't believe they killed the Christ. <laughs> if we go to the Quran, 
and we look for the verse you mentioned, we will see that Muhammad is really certified idiot. You know, he got his certification a long time ago. <clears throat> so what the Jews, they say, we killed the Messiah. Can you find me one Jew says so? Can you find me one Jew, one Jewish book, say we killed the Messiah? So don't the idiot Muhammad knew that the Jews until now they are waiting for their Messiah? So how they will say we killed, my, uh, and we killed who? Isa. Isa. His name is Isa too. The Jews, they believe in a guy, his name is Isa. They killed him. Hmm. True story. But if you read in two seconds, you will find that the one who wrote the Quran is a certified idiot. And you will not find one Jew, even from those who hate Jesus, open the Talmud from the beginning to the end. You will not find anywhere it says, we killed the Messiah. And they will not say the son of Mary, because if they agree that he is a son of Maryam, that means they agree that his birth was a miracle. But isn't it your stupid God? In the Quran says, that the Jews, they accuse Mary that she is, why you are doing this when your parents, they were not a bunch of whores? Hmm? If we go to chapter 19, <clears throat> I mean, this is a, this is a book of, uh, you know, a, a book of mockery, you know, it's just a stupid. In chapter 19, 20 and chapter 19, 28, speaking about Mary, Mary, she said, how I'm going to have a son and I wasn't a Sharmuta. This is the Arabic word for Sharmuta. Bariya is a Sharmuta in Arabic, which means a whore. <laughs> what kind of God this God is? And then in chapter 19, verse number 28, they said to her, the Jews, the Jews, O sister of Aaron, and this is another stupid mistake of your prophet, you think, that Maryam, the sister of Aaron, is the same Maryam, the mother of Jesus. And then when a Jewish rabbi, he came to Muhammad, he said to, to, to Aisha, your husband is missing things up. There's hundreds of years between Mary, the mother of Jesus, and Maryam, the sister of Aaron. So they inform Muhammad, and then he, to fix it, he says, oh, they are used to call them by their great prophet. But remember, at that time, the great prophet was Musa's, not Aaron. So why did not say the sister of Musa is there is reason, you know? <laughs> so here it says, O oh, sister of Aaron, your father was not a man of evil, nor your mother was a whore. Not in chest, as they say here, Bariya. Bariya is a prostitute, actually. A whore, you know, like, not specifically, you can insult somebody, it says she acted like a whore. But uh, 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 Bariya is someone she pay, she get paid for sex. Every, every, like this is her profession. So here you see the Jews didn't agree that this is the son of Mary, the, you know. And then he says here, she, appoint, she pointed uh, to him. And here you will see the Jews, it, it's very funny. It says, so she pointed to him. Mm. And all the Jews, oh, sis, they said, oh, sister of Aaron. Look like the Jews at that time, they speak together, all of them. And I remember Muhammad, he said, when Aaron died, there was in his funeral 40,000 men. All of them, their name is Aaron. Look like in the time of Aaron, the only name is exist is Aaron. Everybody is Aaron. Aaron, Harun. <laughs> anyway, so look at this. So she pointed to him, they said, how can we speak to one who is in the cradle? And here you notice how stupid the story is. She pointed her finger. How they knew she's asking to speak to him? I mean, I point my finger at an infant in the bed. How they got it that she's asking them to speak to him? <laughs> the story makes sense. <laughs> So, and then Jesus said, indeed, I am the servant of Allah. Jesus, what, this is what he said. Okay, I went to Muhammad and to show me where the, the name Allah is exists in the books of the Jews. And Jesus, he spoke in the cradle, saying, I am the servant of Allah. Did he say that in Hebrew? He said, Allah? 
<laughs> we continue. And then he has given me the scripture. What scripture? This guy is just, he's born. He has given me the scripture. And here you find the irony that Muhammad took him 40 years before he been, became a prophet. And when the angel came to him, he started squeezing him. And still Muhammad don't know what's going on. And then the angel, he came to his wife. In, in the, in the, he came to him in the bedroom. And he sat in the corner like a monkey. And then Muhammad, he did not know who is this guy. And this guy never talked to him. But he sit in the corner. And Khadija, she cannot see him. Only Muhammad can see him. It's a miracle, brother. And then Khadija, she decided to discover if this is shaitan or this is an angel. What she did, she started doing striptease. She asked Muhammad to sit in the top of her right thigh, left thigh. And then she, she asked him to sit in the top of her and she took off her clothes. And now because they are going to have boom, boom, the angel left. And Khadija, she said, praise be to Allah, my cousin. This is not a shaitan. This is an angel. They asked the Muslim how she found out. He said, if shaitan, he would like to watch porn. <laughs> so here you see that Jesus, in the, as a child, he is one day old, speaking, and he received the scriptures. And Muhammad is 40 years old. His wife is doing a striptease for him to discover if this is an angel or not. <laughs> I mean, it's a very convincing story. I like it. I love it. So she appointed to him, and she said, as I said, how can we speak to one who, do, who, who is in the cradle as a child? And here, if you ask the Muslim, they would have no answer. How in the world they get it that she is asking? Maybe she is saying change his diaper. I mean, he is an infant. How in the world they come to their mind? She is saying speak to him. She just pointed her finger. Looked like at that time, the finger language was very popular between the people of Israel. Uh -huh. Finger, you know? So now if I, you know, finger, okay? I talk to him. Who? Okay. No comment. And Jesus said whatever he said. And then he said, he has made me blessed whatever I am. What does that mean? Is the blessing have to do with location? Whenever I am. Mm. <laughs> and has enjoyed upon me prayer. What the heck? And zakah. Jesus, he don't have a penny in his pocket. Now he want to pay zakah. Mm. Okay. As long as I remain alive. What the heck? I'm so glad you will not pay charity when you are dead Isa I mean what the stupid language is that so as long as I am alive are you supposed to give donation when you are dead oh you can do it this day you can keep your bank account running don't report the dead guy to that bank <laughs> and then he says and maybe it may be dutiful to my mother and he has not made me uh, which Richard Terrant, Terrant, Terrant. Wow, that's amazing, brother. Amazing. And then he says, And peace is on me the day I was born. Which day is that? Hey, Muslims, is that 25 of December? Which you Muslims say is not? I mean, isn't it funny, this religion? They oppose everything about Jesus. And they oppose the, 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 the Christmas day. And they say the Christian, they replace it with the pagan day. And <laughs> and then they didn't know even when Jesus was exist. Not a single Muslim he knew. When Jesus was born, when Jesus was exist, which country he was exist, which city he was born in, who is Mary? Even Mary, as you see, Mary, look, if we go to chapter 3 in the Quran, Mary is the daughter of the father of Moses. What her father's name is Amran. The whole chapter is called the family of Amran. Speaking about who? Moses, Aaron, Mary, and Jesus. So according to the smart Muhammad, he's a genius. You know, this is where the word genius coming from, from Muhammad. Genie, and he is, he always says yes. So he heard that, uh, uh, he don't even know how to pronounce names, this idiot from Hebrew. So it's uh, the, the father of Moses, his name is Umram, Umram. 
not Umran. So he changed the last letter with letter N instead of M, which means it used to be like letter M, like mountain, and now it is N as Nancy. So the family of Amran, the Muslim, they tried to fix it about Mary is a sister of Aaron. Okay, we will fix it there. How we can fix this one? How the father of Mary, his name became Amran. And you have Dun? Eh, just let it go. And then we will see here that according to Muhammad, who is very knowledgeable in history, uh, this is why he thought that the Pharaoh is the name of the Pharaoh. <laughs> And his wife, and his wife name uh, is Asiya. I mean, it's very funny. Asiya been to Muzahim. Asiya is the wife of the Pharaoh. She is an Arab, and Pharaoh is an Arab, and her father is an Arab. I mean, look like all of Egypt and the Pharaohs are they are Arab. They are not African. And then we find that the the Muslim they say they make videos about how the Prophet he found out that the Pharaoh his body preserved the Quran. Say you idiot, the mummy is there. It's a mummy. It's not Allah who preserve it. Those guys, they took the king to the surgery room. They took off his stomach. They took all the stuff, the same as what happened to your prophet when the angels came and they did the last surgery for him so they can fix his dirt. If you remember the hadith, it says here that uh, Allah, he sent two angels And they perform a plastic surgery for Prophet Muhammad. He deserve it. You know, think about it. The first plastic surgery, we have to give that to Allah. It was done by Allah permission. He sent his surgeon, Jibreel. So here you will see that the Allah, he sent two angels. One of them is Jibreel because he is the, the highest in the profession in plastic surgeries in Thailand. So those angels did not talk to Tzalbar. And he says, and from among the angels, uh, Jibreel took charge of him. Took charge of what? Of Muhammad. He took him next to the water of Zam Zam Zam. Even the name of the the the, the water is weird. Zam Zam. No comment. Don't say T T in Philippine. That will make penis. So from Zam Zam, from among the Jibreel, uh, uh, among among them, Jibreel took charge. Among them, how many angels they are coming to do surgery? So Jibreel cut open the part of his body in different hadith it says from here to there meaning from his throat to his testicles don't touch that there don't even try to go there it's very harmful area and then they open his chest and they took off all the material brother and of his chest and his abandonment and then they wash it with zamzam i mean have you ever heard of a plastic surgery like this what is the purpose of this is to wash the prophet from his sin So now if somebody, he is full of sin, he do sin every day in his life, all what he need to do, he go to the hospital, he tell them open from here to here, and wash my stomach with zam zam. And they put it back. And now, that's it. You are clean, brand new. All change. And not only that, here it says, and then a golden tray containing a gold bowl full of belief and wisdom was brought and then Jibreel stuffed it in his chest. And this is why the prophet is so smart. Oh, now we understand. And I guess that every Muhammadan who follow Muhammad, he have the same surgery too. To the point they ask questions which is invalid, uh, silly, and you, you worship three gods. Where we say, where it says that? You one plus one plus one. Wait, what the heck is that? One plus one plus. Who is the one? And who is the one? And who is the one who said to you that the Christian believe in one plus one plus one? What's wrong with you, Muslims? At least if you have a question, bring us something valid. But anyway, you need a surgery. We can't tell. And then they stuff his chest. They stuff. I love the word stuffed. Any food is a stuffed is tasty, like stuffed with beef, rice, but a but chest is stuffed with wisdom. That's amazing. And they stuff his chest and look, 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 hold on. A, f an, a golden tray, a golden bowl full of belief and wisdom. Who can come with such a knowledge except Prophet Muhammad? I mean, all of us, we thought wisdom is something 
uh, is knowledge is is a is a is a like a, an information is stored in our brain and you know like and God guide you know guide us with those information etc. But wisdom in the dish, and then we cut the chest of the guy, and then we stuff his chest with belief to not only wisdom. Look, it's a dish of it's it's a cocktail. You know, it's it's a cocktail. The most important cocktail ever. And look, the Muslims, they have a question. When they say to you, how you Christian worship three, yet he is one. But this makes sense for them. But we believe that God is three person, yet he is one. Is doesn't make sense, which is very weird. You know, because if you believe that God is almighty, are you going to tell God what he is? And what he can do and what he cannot do? Muhammadan are hypocrite. Do we ask them why Allah have five fingers? They have no idea. Why Allah have a shin? He have no idea. Why he have a foot? Oh, the Christian prince, the shin of Allah is not like your shin. As Zachariah is calling. Christian prince. First of all, we ask them the question one thousand time. Uh, Zachariah, you never answer it. Prove me wrong. Do you have a recording? Okay. Listen. First of all, Allah have five fingers. But in finger, it's not like our fingers. So he talked, he called them fingers. What or why if they are not fingers? Christian Prince, they are fingers, but they are not like your finger. Abdul, listen, they are fingers, but they are not like our fingers. Who care? I mean, chicken have fingers too, but and they are not like our fingers, but they are fingers. So your God, Mr. Fangarine, he finger everybody with those fingers. Can you tell me why Allah, he have a fingers? What he do with them? You Muslim, you claim if Allah wanted something to happen, he says, B is going to be. Christian Prince, first of all, Allah finger because he speak from his finger. Oh, so Allah, he speak from his fingers. That is the finger language. And now we understand why the Quran says that Mary, she pointed her finger at Isa. When the Jews asked her, where you get this from? What she did? She pointed her finger. So the finger God, he told Mary to point her finger. And then the Jews, they understand the language of the finger because the finger religion is very, 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 very fingery. Where's my finger? So listen carefully. The holy story Muhammadan they have about so-called Jesus or Isa, they call him, in the translation they put Jesus, but he's not there. Uh, you don't even know the correct name, Yeshua. Uh, all the story, nothing in the story. I mean, the only, the only thing the Muslim they don't make fun of is Mary, she is not, she is born, she gave birth to Jesus as a virgin. Imagine if the Quran never says so. The, the Muslim, they will die laughing at you. Say, ha, 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 Christian, believe that Jesus, he was born of a virgin. <laughs> Just because the Quran says so, they don't discuss it. They don't even dare. This is how hypocrite they are. And if we ask them why, why only Jesus is born without father? They said to you, the Quran answer you. This is Ali Dawa is calling Christian Prince. We can answer you and refute you from the Quran. Uh, Ali Dawa speak like a man, stop speaking like a girl. Christian Prince, well, can you give me some grape, please? Yeah, give me grape. Okay. And Ali Dawa is eating grape from the hand of his wife in the front of the camera and he is waiting a jacket like for a joker. So, okay, refute, let me refute you from the Quran. Okay, what, what the heck? Ali Dawa will refute me from the Quran. How you do that? Christian Prince, we can refute you very easy. You know, in the, you know, the, uh, the, uh, Christian Prince, I have to go now because, uh, you know, we have a great, you know, uh, Ali Dawa, just wait, where are you going, man? You said you want to refute me from the Quran. What the heck? Uh, do you even remember what was the topic? This uh, Christian Prince, we are talking about Ramadan. You idiot, what Ramadan? <laughs> this is why none of those idiot they are even to let me call them or call me uh, so everything in this book is a joke and then the muslim they come to us with the questions and we ask ourselves okay well, you know questions is good but do though even those people answer anything we mentioned in the previous video about all mistakes muhammad he said as an example we said the hail is coming from mountains in heaven 
What the Muslim he answer? He how you will save Jesus. <laughs> Muhammad, he said the sun set in murky water. What is the answer? You believe in Trinity. <laughs> I, I guess every Muslim he park in my chat, he have a disability sign over his car. And they park only in the disabled location. What's wrong with you, Muhammadan? We are showing you serious issues in your stupid religion. And then you ask us those questions. And look, look at this one now. Which God Mary worship before Jesus? I will give this question. I will give this guy five stars for asking this question. <laughs> I must then start thinking. Hey, Abdul, this is a good question for you. How come Mary, she never mentioned Allah? How come Ezekiel never mentioned Allah? How come Elijah? How come Isaiah? How come Moses? How come everybody? Can you show me? So you Muslims, you ask a question, and this question is like a bullet in your bum. Because we don't find any of those prophets ever mention Allah. Never. Ever. Look like they drop his name from their dictionary. And here we ask ourselves, when you ask our, like uh, ask the question, and Mary worship before Jesus Christ was born, don't you know that the Christian believe that Jesus' birth is not the time he exists? Uh, I understand. You are ignorant like your prophet. Jesus in the Bible, he says, before Abraham, I am. What does that mean? It means his existence have nothing to do with his birth from Mary. If you go as an example, in John chapter 8, you will find, and the Muslim, they say to you, Christian Prince, I trained you to find me one word in the Bible. It said, Jesus said, I'm God worth me. But if we read in the Bible, we will find that Jesus many times, he says, I am God, worship me. Each time he say, I am, this is how God, he presented himself to Moses. So Yeshua spoke again and to them, and he said, I am the living God, the light of the world. Whoever follow me shall not walk in darkness, but shall find light of life. He is the light. And the Muslim, they say, well, uh, it doesn't say he's God. We go to the Quran. We will find the silly Quran copying exactly the same statement of Jesus. Here we go. Read with me and love. Isn't it? This is Allah. He says he is the light of the heaven and the earth. Hmm? Is that your God? Who is the only one who have the right to say, I am the light. But he didn't notice the difference here, by the way. You will see that the Quran is saying, Allah is the light of the heaven and the earth, which is obvious that the one is talking cannot be Allah. In the case of Jesus, Jesus says, I am. And this is how the God of Abraham speak. He said, I am. He don't say he. I mean, if you say he, who is, he, who is you? So Muhammad is a silly, he made a book, he claimed that his God is talking, but always he forget to switch from the second person to the first person. So what he say, it is he. How in the world Allah is talking, but he say it is he. Huh? I wish I can practice this in a restaurant to avoid paying the bill. Like the guy come to me, he says, sorry, I have to pay the bill. I said, it's he. It's he who ate it. <laughs> he who, sir? You are the only one sitting at the table. Yes, yes, it's he. It's he. You know, there is someone in front of me. You don't see him. It's not me. You know, we are two here. <laughs> anyway. Uh, which one is a Christian Prince YouTube channel? My friend, you are in my, in my front yard and you are asking me which one is my channel. This is my channel. Subscribe or unsubscribe. Have fun. So you will see that the, the God of Islam, you know, like if you uh, uh, if you search in the Quran, how the Quran function.
Hmm? The first verses in the Quran is the most silly, stupid thing. You know, I remember when I was a kid, you know, I did read this. And like in Arabic, it says, Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim, Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. I said to myself, who is talking? But I wasn't sure, you know, I'm just a kid. So I asked a Muslim, who is the one who's talking? He said, I don't know. Let me ask my dad. Second day, he came back to me and he told me, it is Allah talking. I was like, well, like, what the heck? This is the first time I have a cross eyes. Allah is talking, but he say in the name of Allah. I mean, isn't it, this is the most hilarious? You see, this is, can be acceptable if the angel saying in the name of Allah, and he is talking for this is his words. But the Muslim, they say, no, this is Allah talking. So how Allah is talking, he say in the name of Allah. Imagine if Jesus says in the name of Jesus. Hey, Jesus, listen, I thought you are Jesus. Yes, yes, it's me, but in the name of Jesus. <laughs> What's, you know, I mean, this is the most obvious fake book. The guy he claimed that the one is talking is Allah, yet he say the guy who is talking is who? Muhammad. Uh, <clears throat> this is... Uh, <laughs> Let Ali Dawah answer you, sorry. I'm <laughs> Let him breathe. This is Allah is talking. Hey, my wife, what is the grave? Okay, Ali Dawah, Allah is talking. So how he say in the name of Allah? And how in how in the world he says, uh, uh, look, Alhamdulillah, the Muslim translation says, all the prize is to do Allah. Look, what the heck? Allah says that? <laughs> Too much hummus. <laughs> All the praise be due to Allah. The Lord of the ring, you know? I mean, the Lord of the ring, yes, he is the one who gave Sulaiman, according to Muslim, a ring. He controlled the world with it. He controlled the genie. Brother, if there is any brother from the country of Pakistan can explain to us how Suleiman he have a flying carpet and he have a ring, brother, hmm? and 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 the genie. <laughs> I love this story. I don't. I'm not even know how how to type anymore because of laughing. Man, Muhammad, what you did to me? What you did? Huh? Man. Chapter thirty-eight, verse number thirty-seven. It says. And actually, if you go before here, they see the flying carpet. That's deep. No, you know, they are advanced, man, in all technology, flying carpet. So we subjugated to him the wind. It blew gently to his order wherever his, his will. Okay, if you go and read Muhammad's story about this, he will say that uh, uh, Suleiman, he have a very small, tiny flying carpet can fit to all his kingdomship, army, horses, donkeys, kitchen, houses, buildings, everybody in the top of the flying carpet, brother. By the way, Muhammad did not explain how he can move <laughs> all those things. I mean, like build the house, look like they built it in the top of flying carpet too. MashaAllah, Alhamdulillah. And all his army, the army of Suleiman was sitting in the right side of the corner of his roof. Man, how big the roof. And the army of Suleiman is all the way from Jerusalem to Persia. And all of them, they can fit in the side of the roof. Mashallah, mashallah. <laughs> True story. <laughs> By the way, if there is any Muhammad that would like to join us live, feel free. We will take you for a snack. So we subjugated the wind to him and blew gently. How come Allah did not subjugate the wind for uh, Prophet Muhammad? You know, the Muslim, you ask them questions. Uh, like the ask Naik. How come Jesus have a lot of miracles and he have none of them, Muhammad, you know? Uh, so Zakir Naik, he says, Brother Tita, in the time of Jesus, the medicine was very advanced. So Allah, he supported Jesus with medicine miracle. Like what medicine? Why? He was giving aspirin for people. And 600 years after, the, the, medicine, the medicine is less advanced. I mean, we are talking about Muhammad who came 600 years after Jesus. So if the medical was very advanced in the time of Jesus, and people they used to, to, to tie up the, 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 the tooth of a, of a guy who wanted to take off his tooth by the door or by a donkey. <laughs> you see how advanced it was? So Muhammad, he came 600 years after that, and Jesus never gave medicine. What does this have to do with medicine? 
Are we talking about miracle or maybe Jesus said, open a hospital, open your mouth? Uh, okay, listen. <laughs> you drank too much camera urine. <laughs> so now we are giving you to give you a medicine. You drink it three times a day. Jesus did not give medicine, you idiot. So here you see that all the stories, I mean, the Quran is full of stories like Suleiman, he controlled the genies and the genies, they die for him, brother. They die for him. To do what? To get rubies from the ocean. Do you see the rubies? Rubies is, brother, you cannot bring rubies yourself. You have to ask the genie, shaitan. I mean, have you ever heard of a prophet? His employees are shaitans, satans. Do he pay them monthly? <laughs> what he feed them? <laughs> And also shaitan, devils from the jinn, including every kind of builder and driver. Look, 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 look. Every kind of builder. Electric wiring, security camera, construction, uh, making doors. I mean, you name it. All kind, all kind, brother, all kind. Custom friends. I guess get lost, man. <laughs> we want to talk to men. So listen, guys. The Muslim when they have a questions, their questions is really invalid, is silly. And if they are decent, look at your book and die laughing. So before when when Mary, you know, before Jesus was born from Mary, that is not the time where Jesus is exist. This is the birth in the flesh. If you go to John chapter 1, verse number 1, it says, In the beginning it was the Word. And that Word is what? Is Jesus. That is God. So we as a Christians, and this is for your information, Muslims, stop asking silly questions. Stop being silly. But I cannot blame you. You are a Muslim. You do not know your belief. Even your God do not know what the Trinity is. He thinks that Mary is part of the Trinity. And not only that, I mean, this God, he say things which is absolutely stupid. As an example, he say that uh, the Christian believe that the Messiah is Allah. Like, what the heck? How you can do that? <laughs> if the Christian, they believe that the Messiah is Allah. So who is the second person in the Trinity and who is the third person? Because now we eliminated two. Correct? If the Christian, they believe that the Messiah is Allah. So there's no more. Who is, the th who is the second and who is the third? Surely they disbelieve, chapter 5, verse number 17. Those who they say Allah is the Messiah. So they say he is the, he is the Messiah, the son of Mary. So Allah is born of Mary. Masha'Allah. <laughs> And the Messiah, the Christian, they say that. Since when? <laughs> you know, actually, in the, uh, the the Arab Christian in the Middle East right now, they are using the word Allah in their churches, which is very stupid, uh, you know, because of ISIS occupation for them for 1,400 years. Those priests, they have to compromise and they start using the word Allah in their prayer and the translation of the Bible which is absolutely absurd and false translation. So we don't say that Jesus is the Father. We don't. No Christians say that. And if you ask the Muslim, he might try to say to you, oh, it says here Allah, it meant God. No, Allah for Muslims is a name. Al mean God. La is the name of the God. So Allah, God, La. You see, the second you say Allah, you are saying two words. Al, which is God, and the second word is La, which is the name of the God. It is two words connected. The same as when you speak in the Bible, you say Emmanuel. The last letter, two letters are a word meaning God. But it's when you read it, you read the name supposedly, right? But in fact, it's a statement about God. But Eel is not a name of God as much as it is a word mean God. 
Al is the original word of eel. And Muhammad is mixed up. So eel is a word meaning God in the Aramaic. In the old Aramaic and the old Hebrew, it was Al. So Israel used to be Israel. Mikael used to be Mikael. And this is why you see Daniel. So until now, there's some names. Still, they are using the A-L, not Eel. So Allah, al la God La, this is what the Christians say that God La is the Messiah. We don't believe in La, and we don't believe that the Messiah is the Father. That is again additional stupid understanding of Muhammad. You know, the funny is the same Quran says don't say Trinity, and now he's saying the Christian they say the Messiah is Allah. Uh, I don't see any Muslim texting me, so it's okay. Things happening. Now we have another Muslim, he says. Mr. G2 Shoes. Mm. Man, oh man. Don't remind me of the shoes. Don't take your shoes to the mosque. You will lose them. So he said here, Muslim cannot by faith insult, he want to say, Isa. You Muslim, you insult Jesus every day. You insult him when you say he's a prophet. You insult him when you say his book is corrupted. You insult him when your prophet says he is going to have sex with Mary, the mother of Jesus, filthy man Muhammad. You insult him when you say that Allah will kill all the Christians. You insult him by killing the Christian, destroying his churches. And you insult him by changing every teaching and every ethic he brought. As an example, when the Muslim they say, we are against fornication, are you? Islam is fornication cult. Actually, Islam is number one promoting fornication and not only that, prostitution. As an example, in the Quran it says, and there's a three uh, Muslim musketeer, their video, you can find it in Suku film. You will find them saying, it is look like that it's permitted to be a pimp in the Quran. And those are Muslims are very well known. Go watch it. It says here that force not your daughters, your girls, to do prostitution, and those are not daughters really, it's, it says fatayatakum, uh, uh, which means the girls. Which girls? The slave girls. Force them not to do prostitution, and if you force them, is Allah is all merciful. And if they, des they, they decide the chastity, so if they agree for prostitution, open a pimp house. The verse in the front of you, and here translation is coming very stupid, but you can change it. This is uh, Hilali Khan. As usual, you know, you change the translation in the Quran, you have a new era. <laughs> Muhammad Asad. <laughs> Let us see Muhammad Asad. What Muhammad Asad will add to it. So he says, and uh, force, and you know, uh, okay, gross of your slave median into uh, hurdam, hurdam, if they happen to be desire mar desired marriage. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> what is <desire? laughs> The Quran says you can even F them, even if they are married. What marriage? There's a, there is a slave guy. He married without the permission of his master. Go and see what Muhammad did to him. You cannot even do such a thing. What marriage? Same time, the verse says it clearly, force not your daughters or your girls, slaves, to do prostitution if they decide or if they like to be chaste. What does that mean? If they like it, not to be prostitute, they don't want to be prostitute, don't force them. But if you force them, Allah is all merciful. You ask the Muslim, Allah is merciful to who? They say to you, to the girls, they said, what girls? How you can be merciful to them? They did not do anything wrong. They've been forced to. Merciful to them for what? And isn't it the Quran says, Allah, he forgave all sin except shirk? So doing prostitution business and pimp. And then it's if they decide, if they desire chastity. So if they agree, it's official. It is legal 
It's according to Allah teaching. Muslims approve prostitution, fornication as a normal lifestyle. As an example, a Muslim can rent a Muslim woman for three days, three nights. Is that a fornication? No. And the funny the Muslim they say is between two bracket agree to marry temporarily. I mean, aren't you even ashamed to say that this is marriage? When even your prophet never mentioned the word marriage. If a man and a woman agree to live together, not their marriage, you see how they lie? They cannot, you can take, you can take the Arabic text in black and post it in Google and you will see how they lie. Official fornication, fornication cult. You know, in life, all of us, we do sin. All of us. And the one who say to you, he don't, he's a hypocrite, he's a liar. So, but there is a huge difference between somebody, he claimed to be a prophet of God. He encouraged his people to rent to each other for sex. Three days, three nights. There's a video of Mimi Hijab. He was speaking about the Muslim Sunni in England. He says, you marry a girl for three, for five minutes, three minutes, two minutes, two hours. And this is the truth. They do it, but not for two minutes. I mean, even a rabbit, he need more time to take off his pant. Two minutes, Mimi Hijab. Come on. They exaggerate in everything. You know, they, they, they smear each other. You know, they... I mean, they exaggerate in their lies. In, you know, but this is true that Muhammadan, they marry children. They marry even women for a day, night, half day, two hours, elevator time. You go in the elevator, you see a woman, you say, can I do enjoy you? She say, how much you pay me? And even they don't have, they don't have a shame to say that this kind of marriage is kind of rental. Let me find you the Muslim website. <clears throat> Here we go. Alislam.org. Actually, they chose the perfect domain, Orgy. So, Alislam.org. The four pillars of Muta. I mean, they have they have pillars for everything. They have pillars for the religion. They have pillars for the mosque. They have pillars for everything, including fornication. Here it says, if you go down, you will see that Muta is a kind of rental. Muta is considered as a kind of rental. And now a Muslim Sunni will say to you, we don't do that. This is the Shia. This is your Quran. Was Allah Shia? Was Muhammad Shia? If it's a shameful thing, why he allow it? If you say he allow it for a certain time, that is even more stupid. You know, when, uh, when uh, companies, they make a software, they give you beta version. They say to you, this is beta. It's not ready, really. It's not good. They may, you might have some bugs in it. Is that a beta Quran? And then they, Allah, he, where is the verse abrogating the verse? Have you ever heard of a religion? A man, he abrogate what Allah said by his word. You know, if you go in the Quran, you will see that the Quran says that the Christians and the Jews, they made their monks and their rabbis as gods. And we Christian, we don't do that. How that happened? You know? Uh, we Christian, we make our monks and rabbi as God? Are you sure? The Muslim, they say, yeah, yeah. Okay, explain to us. They say, oh, well, isn't it you now follow the, what the, what the uh, bishop say? You don't follow Jesus no more? Okay. So uh, what is the problem? We, we don't follow the bishop, no, but okay, no, I will go with you. So what that mean? He say, you are not following God no more, you are following a man. You don't follow God, you made him now the one who decide for you. But this is exactly what Muhammad did, if this is true. 
Allah in chapter 4 verse 24 he allow you to do muta to if a woman for exchange of money and the Quran chapter 9 verse number 31 it says that the one who do that follow the man not God is worshiping that man and now we have official statement from you Muslim saying that muta is a kind of rental so you speak, you, you are so upset that the Christian, they worship Jesus, but you are not upset for following Muhammad blindly, whatever he's saying. Who of you is willing to rent his sister or his mother? And yet you call it marriage. Hmm? We have a, a Muslim, his name is Abdul Samad. Abdul Samad, all the things we mention, he don't see it. He's worried about Matthew. <laughs> you know, this is an example of the Muhammadan. All the madness we showed him in the screen, what Abdul Samad is busy with? Matthew 21, 11, Jesus is a prophet. La, 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 la. Abdul's, there is a website so we can rent women. To do muta, this is what you are busy with. So this is what they do. You know, you know the ostrich. It's a bird. In case you do not know it, when the wolf come to it, she put her head under the sand because she's so stupid. She think the wolf will not see her no more because she don't see him. So Abdul Samud is an ostrich. We are hammering his prophet in his tail, in his ass, in his bum. All over. he have bruises all over. Bruce Lee, sit down. I'm not talking about you. Yeah, this is what I did to Bruce Lee a long time ago. So Bruce Lee, which beat him by me, because I that's why we call him Bruce Lee, I put a lot of bruises. I am putting bruises in Allah and Muhammad for the last hour, and Abdul Samad is busy with Matthew 21, 11. Now, if we go to Abdul Samad, are you willing to call me so we can read Matthew 21, 11 for you? Britain Prince, I don't speak English. <laughs> I don't too. Can you consider my English English, you idiot? Don't you see even Muslims, they are making fun of my English? Because temperance don't speak English. He speaks gibberish. <laughs> so they are not worried about a prophet legalizing fornication, theft, having sex with babies, having sex with the children, theft, killing, lying. Even the wife, she can lie to her husband and the husband can lie to his wife. Uh, honey, where have you been last night? Oh, I was in the mosque praying all night. And, the, and, the, and the, it's, it's legal. It is halal. So this religion, they claim that they have a religion, but in fact, it's a collection of filth and stupidity. Uh, <laughs> and if you, if you guys, if you, if, you, if, you, if you read even what he is reading for you, this is... They, they said, who is this? Uh, the city was moved saying, who is this? And this is multi multitude said. And, and, and the multitude said. This is what they say. And by the way, prophet of God is not what it says there. It says he is a prophet. This is what the people say, not Jesus. You are an idiot. But do you know that the first prophet is God? For all prophets coming from God. You know, there's a prophet, we call him a prophet between us, for he is receiving a prophecy. But the truth is, there's only one prophet. That is God. For all prophecies come from God. For he is the only one who knew the future. So when a Muslim, he tried to find something in order to cover the stupidity of his religion, we laugh. Because do you see here that the Muslim did not even read? I mean, did you notice what is the verses before says and the verses after says? A Muslim, you don't see it. A Muslim is a blind, copy paste. If we ask this Abdul, do you accept this chapter to explain who is Jesus? He will say no. Hypocrite.
liar like their father, the devil. Who is a Muslim he dare to call me? Who is a Muslim he dare to call me? This is Jesus. Jesus, the walking, talking miracle. The miracle machine. Every step of him is a miracle. When he curse, a tree die. When he order death, death die. When he give life, life come. When he want, he make the blind see. When he want, he make the leper healed. That is Jesus. Who is your God? Muhammad, according to Muslims, he have all his children die one after one. And he was crying, asking Allah for help. And nothing came. Muhammad himself, he claimed that the prophets, their body will not decay. So the Muslim did not bury him for three days. And then his body stink, exposing his lie that the body of the prophet don't decay and proving that he is cannot be a prophet. Because he said the body will prophet will not decay and his body decayed. So he is not one of the prophets. When the Muslim, they said to him, hey, Muhammad, we are going to you know, pray on you and look this man he is mentally ill in one hand he claimed that he is the most favored person to Allah and now he's asking the Muslim to pray for him but while you are surprised this person Allah he pray for him and just pray for him followers will pray on for him or in him this is what Mimi Hijab he says this is why it says pray for not to So they said, how we can, and, and why the prayer of the Muslim will be submitted to Muhammad? Is he God? Well, yeah, he is, according to Muslims, for this is his name, Muhammad. Muhammad means the praised one. If Muhammad is the praised one, who is the praised two? So the liar Muhammad, he claimed that when he die, doesn't matter, still he will receive your prayer. And that means how, how he can be dead and you receive a prayer. Muhammad he explained, he said to them, when your body is has decayed, how 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 that uh, you know, and here the translation by the way in saying blessing, that's false. It says salah. وَكَيْفَ تُعْرَضُ صَلَاتُنَا عَلَيْكَ How our prayer will be supplicated to you. And here you ask yourself, the prayer of the Muslim will be supplicated to Allah or to Muhammad. Mental. When your body has decayed, Allah messenger Muhammad said Allah has forbidden it the earth from consuming the body of the Prophet and then they did not bury him for three days and then he stink as Ibn Abbas he said bury your friend he stink like all human they stink in different hadith it says his belly is full of fart, became so big like a pregnant woman. Bury him. Another hadith says that his fingers, they shrunk and their his nails became green and blue. Yet the false prophet, he claimed that the earth will not consume the body of the prophet. So Muhammad is proven to be fraud in every way, in every mean. And this is why you see, not a single Abdul dare to call us. Did you ask yourself why? If the one is talking is somebody have blue eyes, he do not speak single Arabic word, he do not know much about Islam, you will see a long line of callers. Here, we have potatoes. What about you go and open the grave of your prophet and check him out? 
Let us see if his body after 1400 years is still as it is. That would be really a miracle. Can you? Do we have any brave Muslim? Uh, admins, anyone he posted things like this guy. Orthodox Christianity is the only truth or uh, Catholic or Protestant block him immediately. Those are Muslims. They try to bring division. They try to take us away from our topic. You see that Jesus, he says, uh, a, king, a divided kingdom is not a kingdom. And we Christians, we belong to the kingdom of God, no division. We have only one Lord. We have only one priest. We have only one master. And we have only one judge. That is Jesus. Many, they are wolves in the clothes of a sheep. They come to divide you. Be aware of them. Who care if you are Catholic or Protestant or Orthodox? God, he said, from their fruit you shall know them. Only silly, stupid ones, fake, satanic, demonic, they have a demons inside them, is the one who tried to divide you. We are Christians around the world. We are one family. I don't care who you are. Show me your fruits. From their fruits, you shall know them. You can pray 24 hours a day, but you are still satanic like Muhammad. You can wear a cross, but you are just the devil using the cross. You can claim to be a priest, but you are a child molester like Muhammad. From their fruits, you shall know them. And the one who unite the Christian is a person following Jesus. Anyone who don't do that, he is being misled by the devil. There's only one church, my friend. That is the Church of Christ. And the Church of Christ is not a domination, is not Catholic, is not Protestant, is not Orthodox. It is anyone who believe in me and he will live, Jesus said. Whoever believe in me, I am the life. I am the resurrection. I am the truth. I am the light. So be aware of false people who try to come here to deceive you, to take you away from Christ. So you follow domination, you follow a church, a priest. We don't follow a church priest, we follow Jesus. And any priest, he divide us, he is not serving the Lord. Do we have any Muhammadan? Do we have any brave Muhammadan? Abdul Samad, Samad, you know Samad in Arabic means fertilizer. I think Abdul Samad is afraid if he call me, I will make him fertilizer. <coughs> Uh, Mansoor, I cannot take your question seriously, Mansoor. You are just a sarsour. Be a man and call me, and then you can ask me the question, and then we people will laugh at you. According to your religion, sarsour, as long as you are talking about Aaron, according to your religion, Allah, he made iron so we can kill each other. Is that true, brother? Oh, what a nice God. I'm sure Vladimir Putin, he, you know, he, like, he appreciates your God, so he made a lot of junk in his army. Hmm? According to your God, Allah, he ordered, actually it was the people of uh, there next where the sun set, they told Zulkarnain to build a dam made from copper and Milton, uh, Milton copper and iron. And until now, we are searching for that. And you are talking about what my God can do and your God can do. Your God could not make anything. You name one thing for me and your God can do. Even Muhammad, he cannot masturbate. Did Allah solve his masturbation? Have you ever heard of a God? He sent a dish of shish kebab to his prophet so his penis can work? Call me, I will make you read it. 
Do you dare? I mean, Jesus, he made the blind see. He did not give him shish kebab, says, come tomorrow and tell me how you look. Tell me if you can see or not. When Muhammad, he says, I was the most weak person in Ifin. And then I invoke Allah. And then Allah, he sent me a dish of shish kebab. I ate it, I get the power of 40 men. And now we understand why shish kebab is very expensive in the Middle East. Trillions of dollars spent it in the Middle East just for Viagra. So the first Viagra ever was made by Allah. And you are talking about, about God. If Allah, the Muslim, they said to you, if Allah wants something, he said, be is going to be. So how come he need to send a dish of shish kebab? And what is the proof that Muhammad private part is working after the shish kebab? Prove it. He still have no kids. And not only that, if you go in the hadith, you will see that the prophet who got shish kebab dish, even his sex was fraud. Read with me. Aisha, she said, she's a first witness. Don't tell me now Aisha is a liar. Right? No, I can answer any question you want, but you are a coward. I always answer you, make your shish kebab, and I'm doing that. Why you don't call me? Do you dare to call me? I mean, all the things we do here, and I did not answer your question, you potato. And look, he just said again, your book is corrupted. So he's a stupid prophet. He is a liar because he's a prophet says no. And he's a prophet. He swear by this book. Did your prophet swear by it? Isn't this your Quran says Allah, he confirmed the book with us? <laughs> and this is 600 years after Muhammad, after Jesus, sorry. So you Muslims are hypocrite. Either the Quran, the book of the devil is made wrongly, or it's true book. When they want, our book is corrupted. When they want, their book is not is not corrupted. When they want, uh, Muhammad is in Isaiah. When they want, the book of Isaiah does not exist. If we ask them, what is the book of Isaiah? Muhammad did drop it from the Quran. I don't know what happened to this website. It's not working. Text me in Skype, Mansoor. And ask me the question and I will make you read it and everybody will die laughing at you do you dare it says error in the network the website is not functioning hmm. let us see Still the city website not working. <laughs> Do we have any Mohammedan there to call me? You don't even dare to ask your question. Stay in the chat. Women are more, more strong than you. So when the Quran says that the Quran came in agreement in what is with them, believing in what is with them, not only confirming, believing, musaddiq. Obviously, the Quran was made by the Christian, maybe. Because look, it says, confirming the Torah, confirming the Injil, 600 years after Jesus, and not a single word changed according to the Quran. Do you see it? Do you see your translation? So Muhammadan are a bunch of hypocrites. They are willing to throw their God words under the bus just to make a statement. 
or a claim. No dignity. I bet you Mansoor he thought this is a rental room where he can't do muta. Do we have any Mohammedan would like to call me? Mayday, mayday. Urgent call. There's no way, not a single Abdul, he have the courage and the knowledge. Anyone? My Skype is open since I started. You're a liar, Mansoor. I stay with people for an hour, two hours. So if I hang up on at the, at the end because they are not answering. So is it is it one hour enough for you, Mansoor? In front of everybody. I will never hang up on Mansoor for 60 minutes. Is that fair, guys? 60 minutes. Can Mansoor bring victory to Allah in 60 minutes? I have a new offer for you, Mansoor. I will make it two hours. I promise in the front of everybody, I will not hang up on you, unless you start using the F4, etc., then I will hang up on you. I will never hang up on you. For two hours. And if I do hang up on you, that's meaning you are a winner. You will take the video. And I lost. Do you dare? You don't. You are a Salsur. You are not Mansur. Do you know the woman, her name is what? Uh, Sansur? Something Sansur? I forgot her name. Do we have any brave Muslim he can tell us anything to prove that Muhammad is a prophet? And look, you know, when you mock, the religion of mocker is speaking about mocking. Isn't you what you Muslim you do all the time? You mock? Even your prophet, he have a chapter. It's called chapters of mocking. Look, look at this chapter. This is God? If this is God, who is Joe Biden then? This is your God mocking the uncle of Muhammad. Okay, what, what Allah, what Allah want to say about the uncle of Muhammad? Okay, perish to his hand Abu Lahab, okay, the uncle, and perish he, okay, his health and his children, etc., etc., will not benefit him, okay? So he will be burnt in fire, blazing flame, okay? And this is wife, and his wife too, who carry wood, okay? The throne of Satan, whatever, what the heck is that? In her neck, brother, a twisted rope of Masad, the palm fiber, what the heck is that? The whole chapter is mocking the guy and his wife. And then you ask yourself, how God even mentioned their names in his holy book? I mean, are they really important? <laughs> so they call the Christian pigs, monkeys, animals, donkeys, all kind of names, nudges, filthy, and then they're mocking. Okay? Put lips stick and call me. I will be kinder to you. Hmm? Why you even want to hear my voice? I don't want to hear your voice. You never speak, you fart. Ask the question, why you never heard the voice of Allah? What difference do you want to make? Because I want to show everybody that you are an ignorant stupid and let me block you. You are here just for a drama. Here we go. I blocked you. We gave you a chance to talk to me, but you are a coward. Go do it, our boy. Don't forget to take change with you. Why you want to hear my voice? You never speak, you fart. Have you ever, if I go right now, look at this religion. If I go right now to the Hadith and I type in English fort, fort, I'm not typing like science, nuclear, fort. 
what I will find? Brother, Allah Apostle said the prayer of a person who does hadas, passing urine, stall or wind, is not accepted from him, brother. Like, what the heck? Why? What if the guy he have a cold? He's not doing it in purpose. Fart is happening because simply, you know, you have a gas. Do you, Muslim, send your prayer attached with the farting file? And isn't this is the guy who used when he pray, he punched the legs of, uh, of Aisha and he prayed between her legs? Isn't this is the same guy, he cleaned his ass with three rocks, which means his ass is still full of poop? Isn't this is the same guy who do ablution with dead dogs and women blood from period? And now 14 will affect you. Look how clean he is. This is your prophet. They ask Allah Messenger, you perform ablution out of Bi'ri Bida'a, the will of Bida'a, which means the will of garbage, which is a will into it, which menstrual clothes, dead dogs, and stinking things were thrown. He replied, water is pure and nothing will make it defiled. Blah, 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 blah. What the heck? So water is pure always, even there's dead dogs, women of blood from period, etc. And now fart destroyed your prayer. Al Khomeini, he said to the Muslim Sunni, you have a huge library of bathroom. Supported the Shia are better. But by the way, certain test from uh, uh, Thailand, they discover that it's true, that water is always pure, even if the dogs in it. And by the way, this is, uh, this is not a running water. This is, the, the, this is a dry up water, dry well, and the sewage of of the, the town go down to the lowest point and there is some stinky water there as you see the, the, the man is a madman i mean how in the world anyone want to do this you tell me he jumped in a water have dead dogs in it not even flesh of dogs ministration rags garbage is dumped and what he is doing there? Where is the shampoo? Where is the shampoo? It's hey, a and I am I'm prophet of Allah taking shower, okay? Uh, prophet of Allah, what, is, what are you doing, man? The, the, the one in the top of your head is not a shampoo. This is administration drugs. This is not uh, syphinge, the one you wash your body. What are you doing? What are you using, man? Don't you see the blood all over? And then, he have thousands of hadith about farting. Like there's a there's a video on YouTube, you can watch it, how shaitan, he fart when he hear the adhan. Like what the heck? Really? Look at the effect of Islam, brother. You see, those, those scammers who make reaction video, a Christian reacting to the Quran, like this guy from Albania, I don't know where. The other guy, he's a Catholic reacting to the Quran. His girlfriend next to him, and she have 10 kilograms of... All of them, they are reacting. Let us see how Shaitan react to the Adhan. Look at this. When Shaitan hears the call of the prayer, he turns back. Look, look, look. He don't fall just automatically. No, 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 no. He have to change direction, brother. He have to make a pointy fart at the Adhan. So he turned his ass to the mosque. <laughs> Look at the knowledge. So when Shaitan hear the call of the, the, the prayer, he turn his back and he break the wind so as not to hear. Look, 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 Shaitan. That's powerful. And now I know why around the mosque and the smoke, smoke smells so good. It was Shaitan. I thought this is the Muslim farting. Where Muhammad he got this knowledge from? Shaitan he fought. So he will not hear the adhan. And now they are using the speakers. Hey Shaitan, what do you do now these days? Maybe your fart used to work in the old days. What do you think about the Christian technology and have speakers and electricity? 
What do you do? You use nuke? Hmm? This is the stupidity itself. The same prophet who said when a Muslim he pray, Shaitan he take hair from his anus, he will not stop until he make him fart and he hear it and he smit it. I mean look, the Shaitan will not leave you. You are bending over now. Mansoor is bending over. Praying to Allah. Nicely, peacefully. Shaitan, the evil brother, the evil he's coming. He come from his back. He straight out the hair. That's what the hadith says. He straight the hair out. And then he pull it. And he don't stop until he make him fart. And the shaitan have to smell it. You know, to be sure that he farted. And he hear it. Not enough just to smell it. Like if it's like, no, 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 no. It's not accepted. We have to keep trying. <laughs> this is religion. Huh? Anyone in the chat, he put Catholic, Protestant, Orthodox, admin, block him. Anyone, be careful. The same guy we blocked before, he's coming back. Do we have any Mohammedan? And you know, if this is true, that shaitan take care from the anus of Muslim when they pray, why the Muslim, they don't put a camera, slow motion, record it. I want to see the hair is moving. I want to say the hair is coming out. You see, I'm not going to ask you. I want to see shaitan. Show us the miracle. And if shaitan take hair from your anus five times a day, shouldn't you be bold there? And shouldn't you say, ouch? I mean, doesn't hurt you? What kind of, what kind of anus do Muslims have? Uh, let me find the hadith. It's not in the English website. So we will use Google Translate and peace be upon him. فيد القدير شرح الجامع الصغير المناوي very number two page number four four six brother read with me the translation using Google translation hadith number two zero two seven verily Satan will come to one of you while he is praying. And he will take hair from his butt, backbone, no, buttocks, not backbone. And he stretch it out and see that he, uh, like, you know, translation is not coming, you know, correct, until he fart and he break wind and he pass in wind from his anus. If that happen, he does not stop a prayer. <laughs> True story. Prophet Muhammad is all knowledgeable, you know. Yeah. The farting expert. This religion, by the way, is number one religion about conspiracy. Anything happened to a Muslim, he say, you know, Allah, Allah told us in the Quran, they are trying to stop the light of Allah. You know? Anything, anything. Shaitan, he target their anus, target his penis. A Muslim, if you don't say a prayer before he have sex, Shaitan will run himself around the penis and he will be doing his wife. Any Muhammadan? Okay, be my witness. I have my Skype open all this time. No Muhammadan. Zero. Let me close my Skype then. I hope today, today we have a good time. Uh, make our video have more than 20,000 so we can come back soon. And don't forget to download my previous videos because I delete them, as you know. But you can watch them in other channels. Uh, 
uh, Muna is saying, <laughs> CP has gotten enough reason to be happy. Islam is your source. <laughs> you know, no. Uh, Islam is not my source of happiness. Islam is my source of laughing. You know, it doesn't matter really how many times I read those stupid things Muhammad he say. Each time I read it, I find it very hilarious and very stupid. It's like a, a, a refreshing fart, you know? So what makes me happy is that I share the truth with people. People laugh at what they see. I laugh with them too. And we see Muslims leaving Islam. That's what makes me happy. So Muhammad is an idiot. And because of him, you can't even go to the airplane because of Muhammad. Unless you wait for three, four hours. Because of Muhammad. They have to check every name in the airport. Because of Muhammad, the price of ticket became three, four times more. Because of Muhammad, everything go wrong. Still, Muhammad is the most stupid idiot ever person exists. But still, there's a lot of hypocrite from presidents, politicians, who quote Muhammad claiming that he is the greatest. Those hypocrites, they will go to hell. There's many of them. The earth is full of them. Uh... And if somebody says the truth, everybody will flood him with attack. He is racist. He is, what, Islam is not a race, is it? What racist? Actually, Islam is the most racist cult ever. Islam teach that the black man is the devil. Islam teach that the devil is a black. I remember once in Facebook, this is how stupid those people who run on Facebook, the Muslim, I asked the Muslim, why your prophet? He considers shaitan always have to be black. Why not white man? He said to me, have you ever heard of an angel? He is black. Imagine the stupid Facebook. They deleted my post, but not the Muslim post. And they claim that my post is against their policy. That the guy is confirming that shaitan is black and black is a bad color, that the color of, a, of bad. Facebook said that my comment is against their guideline. Once in YouTube here, actually. I showed the hadith about the prophet of Islam think that the Jews, they became rats. YouTube sent me a message saying this is against our policy. <laughs> but it's not me who's saying that. <laughs> you know, they do anything to stop exposing the faith of Muhammad. Anything. Say anything you want. It's not against their policy. The second you speak against this filthy man, this sick man, this racist man, it's against their policy. Have you ever heard of a Muslim he cannot collect donation in YouTube? Never. Even those who support terrorism. And they say it loud and clear. Even the one who threat apostate prophet to be killed. He can't take donation in his channel. Look at us, we cannot. We cannot. Why? Because we speak against the YouTube policy. Which policy is that? Like what we do here exactly? Are we teaching to go for war? Are we asking people to do jihad? We know the truth. Satan in their side. But God is in our side. And if God is with me, who could be against me? Do your best. And by the way, soon I'm going to start working in your book. And I'm going to make it like 
I'm thinking to start, like I, I already made some wrote some, you know, like, uh, uh, let us say, uh, many pages, but I did not give it a name yet. Uh, but I'm thinking like, to call it like the most hilarious things Muhammad said, or something like that, you know, we, we always see what the, try to make the name shorter in English, we will see. Like it's a collection of stupid things Muhammad he said. What do you think? Good idea, right? Like maybe I should call it, you can't be stupid more than this. <laughs> we will see. Anyway, guys, I hope you have a good time. Don't forget to download my video. Share it with your friends. I see today we have low number. We have only like uh, 900 people. Uh, but because we, we start so early, people in USA, still many of them, you know, either in the church or people that are still asleep, depend. Uh, but it's important for me to reach out to people who live in Asia, people in Africa, people in Europe, people around the world. And we pray that all of us, we as a Christian family, we always be united and stay away from those who try to divide us. This is my only request to the Christians. Be smart, be vigilant. Don't compromise with your belief. But don't divide the Christians. If somebody is doing something wrong, you say to him, I believe what you do is wrong. But still you are my brother in Christ. That's very important. It's not us. It's not for us. To act and replace God. Who he said, whoever believe in me and die, he will live. So salvation is a promise for everybody who believe in Jesus, not everybody believe in a Catholic or a Protestant or Orthodox. Jesus is salvation, is not a bishop, is not a priest, is not a Christian prince. Never follow the man, for all men are sinners, including me. Follow God, my friend. The only one who will not make you disappointed is the Messiah. You put your trust in the man, you are a fool. You did not read history. You did not see stories yet. We are sinners. Trust can only be in God. In Him we trust. We trust. So be careful. Don't invest in the wrong place. An investment here is not about money. It's about your faith. Never put your faith on a man, a woman, any other creature your faith only in the one who don't betray the trustworthy. Christ is the only person you can have your trust on him. He will never betray you. He's not like Judah, even Judas. Here, actually, the story of Judas is a very great example that even they betray Jesus and they are with Jesus. So Jesus himself he experienced how a human being betray him. Peter himself, he denied Jesus. So why you want to trust anyone save the Lord? The Lord, he keep his promise. He says, you can destroy this building, this temple, and I will build it in three days. He was talking about his body. He always keep his promises. So follow the Messiah. You will be the winner. Follow Muhammad. You will be the shaitan meal for dinner. You choose. Thank you all for being here. May the Lord bless you. This is your brother Christian Prince who is serving you humbly for today. I hope we did something good for you, your knowledge, your family to learn from. Until we see you soon again, Christ is Lord, Islam is a fraud, and we prove it every day. Take care. That we believe without understanding. The brother asked a very important question that most of the scholars say that listening to music, watching movies, and most of the television programs, they're haram. So how can we have fun? 
let me tell you brother at the outset that having fun is permitted in Islam as long as the fun is halal fun. <laughs> that the standard narrative has holes in it. The prophet tells us because Satan or the devil sleeps over our nostrils. Those who oversleep and not pray Fajr on time, Satan urinates in their ears. I really do think Jesus was crucified and that he really was dead and buried. He, he thought that he was a son of God in the sense that he was specially chosen by God. I think Jesus really did think he was going to be the Messiah, the future king of Israel. I mean, that is, after all, why they crucified him, 